and thanks for coming. I'm Detective Inspector Billy Thompson from Major Crime Investigation Branch. Michael Jeffrey Purse, 32, was reported missing to police on the 24th of April this year. Um, and that report was initially investigated by detectives from Eastern District CIB, which revealed that Michael hadn't been seen since early in February this year. Major Crime took responsibility of that investigation over on the 20th of May, and we've made um, a number of inquiries since then, and we've now formed the view that we suspect uh, Michael has been murdered. Today I'm appealing to anyone who has information about Michael's disappearance or the circumstances leading up to his disappearance to please contact police and assist us with our inquiries. We are in regular contact with Michael's family overseas and interstate and we've also spoken to uh, a great number of Michael's associates and friends here in Adelaide. We believe Michael was involved in the illicit drug trade and that he had associates in the southern and western suburbs of Adelaide who were also involved in drug trade. We also um, suspect that Michael was involved in fraud activities and we suspect that those activities were related to his drug offending. Investigators have established that Michael stayed at the Hotel Richmond on Rundle Mall on the evening of Friday the 1st of February. He then left the hotel and returned on the Sunday evening and he stayed at the hotel there with friends before leaving on Monday morning. He was then spoken to on North Terrace in Adelaide at about 8 p.m. on Monday evening by police officers. At that time, Michael was drug affected and appeared dishevelled. As a result of that, police recommended to Michael that he present himself to the Royal Adelaide Hospital, which he did, where he received treatment before being released um, the next morning. We know that on Tuesday, uh, Michael travelled to Elizabeth Park in the northern suburbs, where he stayed overnight with an associate. And then later the next day, he returned to the city. Um, we know that he was in the area of the railway precinct and the casino precinct um, during the day. After that time, we do not know what has happened to Michael or where he's gone to. In the week leading up to Michael's disappearance, we know that he stayed at an Airbnb accommodation, which was located on Carrington Street, and he also stayed at the Richmond Hotel. Prior to that, we know that he was living on and off with a friend who had an address at Taparoo. And we also know that during September last year, Michael stayed at the Quest Apartments in Port Adelaide, and also in January, he returned to the Quest Apartments in Port Adelaide, where he stayed for a period of time. We fear that Michael has met with foul play and we urge anyone with information to come forward and assist police with this inquiry. I want to take this opportunity to reassure people if they've got concerns about their safety in speaking to police, we can deal with that. We can look after your safety and we can, you can be assured that your information will be treated with the utmost of confidence. Do you have any suspects? Sorry, any... We have been speaking to a number of associates and people, um, friends of Michael's. Uh, we're still uh, at the stage of we have persons of interest to inquiry, but not suspects. What makes people believe that um, he's met with foul play? What, what evidence have you uncovered? Look, typically in missing persons investigations, you'll see some sort of activity, um, whether it be phone records, banking records, social media contact, contact with family, sightings. We've had none of that since early February. Are you looking for a body? We believe he's been murdered, so yeah, we are looking for a body. Uh, Michael was reported by a friend that took place and that was after a conversation among a group of friends who remarked that they hadn't heard from him in a long time, uh, which was unusual in itself. They hadn't seen any social contact with him um, and so someone from that group made the decision to talk to police. Have you got any idea where the remains have taken Not at this stage. It's uh, probably a saying of reminder, isn't it, not to get involved with the wrong people, essentially keep out of drugs? Is that your message overall as well to people generally? Well, I think any, anyone that gets involved in illegal activities, there's an element of risk with that. So, yes, that's, that, that would be good advice not to get yourself involved in the drugs trade. Can you detail his involvement in the illicit drug trade? Um, we believe that he was a user and that he may have um, fed his own habit by perhaps dealing. And as I said earlier, perhaps his fraud activities were related to that feeding his addiction. So, those fraud activities. 
Michael's been known to places for a number of years, and yeah, so that's a pattern of behaviour. In sport um, activities, Look, I really don't want to go into the details at this stage because it's uh, operationally sensitive, but uh, needless to say, it's a significant line of inquiry that we're looking at. Are his associates cooperating with police? We've spoken to a number of people and they are cooperating with police. Um, but as I mentioned, um, people are concerned somewhat about their safety and the, their confidence to actually speak openly to police. So that's why I want to reassure people that we can manage that and that... Uh, Michael deserves better than silence. People need to actually talk to police and, and uh, be confident that we can deal with that appropriately. How is his family doing? Uh, we're in regular contact with his um, mum, who's overseas, and his dad, who's interstate. And um, we've been in contact with them right from the start. Um, uh, and they are supportive of our activities, but naturally they're, they're very concerned. Did he grow up in South Australia? My understanding is that uh, Michael has been in South Australia since about... 2009, prior to that, he, he was in Queensland. Um, for his associates, have they got any links to organised crime or that like a gang thing up kind of thing? Um, I just won't elaborate too much on that other than to say that his associates were all connected to illegal activities around drugs. Okay, thank you.